Right, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, controlling flow in, in R. Controlling flow, flow control is a very important aspect of, uh, of programming um, in general. Um, and it's a way of basically getting a computer to, to do things that we want it to do in certain situations. We can't just tell exactly what to do all the time. We have to say, um, conditional on this, do this. And we do that with an if statement. So first of all, let's, let's just set um, x to the value of 39. On the, if I go to the console, take a look at x is just 39. And now what I can do is say, all right, if x is bigger than 20, then set y to 1. Okay? So now if I run that, and if I take a look at y, obviously y is um, 1. Okay? Because x is 39, it's bigger than 20. Now, we can uh, we can also say, well, what are we going to do in the case when y is, is not, when x is not bigger than 20? Well, otherwise, we want, and that's just we use the y, um, else statement, else y is 0. So now if I change this to be uh, 19, if I run that, and I run that, and now I caught up y, we see that y is 0. Okay? So that's very simple. Um, but importantly, if and else is actually a, a function acting on these, 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 sorry, producing these two, two calls. So you can uh, you can rewrite that as simply this. So y assign y if x is bigger than twenty one, else zero. And uh, so let's change that back now. Let's change that back to, to thirty nine. So we've reassigned x. Now we've reassigned y. Now let's take a look at what. Y is y is one. Okay, so those those two statements there are the same way of writing, um, writing the same thing. Uh, now, that's all great, but this is all on one line, and in general, we're going to have R do quite a lot of things for us when we're uh, inside a particular condition on an if statement. So we do that simply using these uh, these curly brackets. All right, so let's take a look at that. Um, so I'm going to set x to twenty. Um, first of all, and then I'm going to say if, and now in the exact same way, x is equal to 21. See, I'm using the double equal signs. That's because the single equal sign can also be used to assign um, at certain points, but you want to do that within functions. We'll, we'll get to that when we need to. Um, and then we can just use a, a curly bracket, and now we can do things across on a line. So the first thing we're going to want to do is if x is equal to 21, I'm going to set y to 1, and we're going to also set z to um, true. So that's that's that point. Then that's when we close that bracket. And now we have to say what we want to do otherwise. So else, and now we have another uh, bracket, else y goes to 0 and z goes to uh, false. Okay? So if we run all that, run that, and run that, so x is 20, so it's not equal to 21, so we should be down here. Let's take a look at y. y is 0, remember in our previous little um, thing we had it as 1. And now if we take a look at z, z is f. So that's uh, basic if statements in R. Um, but importantly, R likes vectors, okay? I've kind of said that before, everything is a vector in R, R likes vectors. And, and this is actually quite a slow way of doing things. And if you're interested in performance, you want to always do things on vectors. And now there's a function called if else that acts on vectors. Um, so let's just take a look at this if else, and we're just going to put a, a bunch of um, trues and falses there. So true, false, True, false, these are just booleans. True, false, true, false, true. And uh, basically, what we say is now, whenever I get a true value, I want you to assign young. And whenever I get a false value, oh, sorry, that's in the wrong place. So that's a vector of booleans. And so that's young. And when it's not uh, true, I want you to say old. Okay? And. Uh, if we just 
run that, we see it's replaced true, false, true, false, true with young, old, young, old, young. And now that's, that's very powerful because we can now start using um, notions of uh, recycling to very quickly uh, get things for our data set. So if we remember our, uh, our MMM JJJ data set, we had a whole bunch of people and we had their age. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and, and, and do something with that. So we're going to have MMM JJJ dollar age group, create a, a new uh, variable called age group, and we're going to do that with the assign, uh, with, with an if-else statement. So if-else, and now I need to create a, a boolean, of ve or a, a vector of booleans, but I'm not going to write true, false, true, false for all 26 variables in there. I'm going to say I want you to check the, the age of these people. So mmm jjj dollar age, if mmm uh, jjj dollar age, so if the, the age is less than 30, then say that they're young, otherwise say that they're old. Okay, and uh, if we run that, and then if we, let's just take a look at MMM, jjj, um, and we want to look at the particular vectors, um, we want to look at the name, we want to look at the age, and we want to look at the age group. This is just a very quick way of only looking at certain um, columns of a data frame. If we do that, we see we got the young people and the old people uh, there. So that's if statements in um, R, and we've seen two ways to do it. Um, either use uh, the this this way, but that's that's slow. If you can vectorize it, it's always worth vectorizing it. Um, and of course, these can be uh, combined. Then you can have multiple if-else statements um, as well. Um, and that's that's about 